This 111-year-old woman and these young ladies share a common bond. Some of us joined two years ago. All are Girl Scouts. Between them is the century-long history of the group that teaches the three C's of courage, confidence, and character. This year, the Girl Scouts celebrates its 100th anniversary. They've christened 2012 Year of the Girl, enlisted help from Congress and others, and launched the To Get Her There campaign. It has a billion-dollar fundraising goal to foster girl leaders. Please know that leadership is your birthright. But it hasn't always seemed that way. In her 50s, the founder, a wealthy widow named Juliet Gordon Lowe, wanted something more for her life in a time when most women couldn't vote or easily determine their own future. She called a handful of girls into her Savannah home on March 12, 1912, and convened the first Girl Guides meeting, soon renamed the Girl Scouts. Two years later, Millie England was among the growing ranks and remembers Lowe. The first Girl Scouts came to New Bedford. Lowe taught girls to be self-reliant and resourceful. She showed them how best to clean house, but also got them out of it. The first time I went camping, we went by streetcar. Camping soon became, and still is, one of the other three C's of scouting, along with crafts and cookies. I like the cookie sales, and I like asking people if they want to buy Girl Scout cookies. It is the largest entrepreneurial program for girls in the country. They raise $760 million every year. Over the years, the Scouts wove themselves into America's fabric, wearing iconic uniforms and earning all those badges. That grew from traditional cooking and sewing to forensic science and web design. From its earliest days, the Girl Scouts pushed boundaries and welcomed girls of different races and religions, and now different sexual orientations. The group boasts 2.3 million young Scouts nationwide and exists in 92 countries. They say some 50 million American women have enjoyed scouting. The Girl Scouting is what is like math, you know, it's the same in every language. The skills they learned helped many to be leaders. Then I worked on my government badge, my grassroots organizing badge, and I flew up to the United States Senate. But perhaps not enough. The Girl Scouts commissioned a study and found that nearly 60 percent of girls aged 8 to 17 believe women can excel in an organization but rarely to top leadership. If you look across the top 10 job sectors in the United States, only 18% of those leadership positions are held by women. The To Get Her There fundraising will go to programs that propel more girls to senior positions in finance, science, technology, and other fields. The effort comes as no surprise to England. I know we started something good. Generations of Girl Scouts later would agree. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.